Okay, guys, so it's morning. Uh, we have made it through the night. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look and see where we're at with things. Um, the good news is our field number 10 is ready to mow and field number 20 is ready to harvest so man we got a lot of work left or a lot of work to do now um, so 6 10 and 20 are ready to harvest and this field number six I notice is showing a darker color than field number 10 I did not think that grass would wither but we may not want to let that stuff sit so we can uh, make sure that that actually uh, takes care of it so uh, we'll probably need to get over six sooner rather than later We are sitting at 389,000. Um, today's not been an expensive day because we haven't done anything yet. Um, yesterday was a lot more expensive. Here is a look at our finances over the past couple days. The first day was a profit of 1.5 million, but keep in mind that's because we sold $2 million worth of equipment. Um, yesterday we spent almost a million dollars um, as far as the overall balance. So uh, that's what leaves us with what we have today. But Hopefully the majority of our big spe uh, expenditures are over, as well as we've got quite a few uh, crops and uh, some silage should be getting close to being ready. So we've got some things we can sell for money as we need it. So uh, that should take care of that. So I guess the next thing is to decide exactly what to do first. I apologize as I need to think about this a bit. Should I go mow? Should I get stuff planted? Um, I say we go ahead and get field number two and three planted, and I may just hire, oh, well, if I hire a worker, I don't have an extra tractor. Hmm, this is when an extra tractor would be nice. Let's take a look at the store and see... What options we have for tractors? So I think we're in the T8 now with a 320 horsepower. Decisions, decisions, 203 horsepower, 263 for 229. That really gets us low. We're starting to get us low on money, though. This tractor right here may not be a bad tractor. So I think we'll do that. I may regret it, but we'll do it. But we got enough going on now that an extra tractor would be nice so we can hire some workers. So what I'm going to do is do what I should have done last night, and we'll get out and give this guy, uh, get this tractor cleaned up. It's in pretty dirty. are going to drive the harvester or the uh, drive over and get the uh, sewing machine and get this these fields number two and three in the process of replanting. Okay, so that looks pretty clean. this uh, tractor up, or this uh, trailer. Go. 
Let's drive over and get our sewing machine. It is 81% full, and since we're going to hire a worker, that's not going to be terribly important anyway. I tell you, it's amazing what uh, one night of sleeping have done. We've we went from just kind of taking our time and things coming as they come into all of a sudden we've got all the work we can handle, even with hiring workers. Hope we don't regret buying that new tractor, but that that tractor is, to me, for the cost, has, is a has pretty decent horsepower. It's not the prettiest of tractors, but it'll be a great run around. Um, my concern is, will it be strong enough to pull our tipper wagon in support of our harvesting on the field we're going to go harvest? So that'll be the question. Either way, it's a, a low horsepower runaround tractor is not a bad idea to get. I just don't know if today was the best day to buy it. Good news is it's not foggy like it was yesterday morning in game time. So the videos hopefully won't be quite as ugly. Let's go for just a little bit. Unfold this bad boy. This will be the first extensive uh, worker hire that we've really used in the game. To try to straighten that bad boy out, but I'm afraid it's just going to... Man, I hate backing this triple thing. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Then we're going to hire the worker. And I guess he doesn't use the uh, ridge marker. So we should be able to tab out of this. Um, and I guess the next thing is to get our harvester down. So we're going to take our harvester down to field number 20, which is also ready for harvest. And because of where we're at, it is probably going to need to uh, tow this header with this instead of don't think we'd be able to get down the road like that so
So off to field number 20. I guess one of the exciting things about all this work is yes we're going to be spending more in uh, hiring workers to get this stuff done but we're also going to be adding a lot more volume to our commodities for sale which at the end of the day the whole purpose of this game is to to maximize that stuff so there's our worker working doing a good job I'm going to take the tunnel route out of here just because it's kind of cool to go through that tunnel. Sure would be great if we would get a on-demand uh, for silage or wheat uh, sometime soon. That would definitely refill the coffers. I think this tunnel's a pretty cool little deal in this map. A lot of extras in this map compared to the, the base package. So we can see our fully uh, grown field over there, kindly awaiting our harvester. I will probably set this harvester up and put him on a hired worker as well. And then while he is starting those that first fill, we will tab over to get to the store to pick up our new tractor. And then we've got to run out to the southeast uh, farm to pick up the tipper wagon. And then we will pick it up and, and come back. the header up. Set her up on the field over here. There we go. It is off. So we are on a 
time crunch now. Here's our new tractor. I'm going to haul booty over to the southwest or southeast field. We, I'll start calling that the back 40 so we can keep them separate since we are, have been calling that center farm the Ponderosa. Hopefully we've got enough time to get that tipper wagon over there and empty that harvester before he sits too long. So this isn't a bad little tractor. It's uh, one of the default starting tractors on the default map, so that's the reason I have experience with it. One of the things I like about it is it has a much higher horsepower per cost than some of the other low-end tractors, so I'm not sure why that is, but we'll take it. There goes our worker. is still working his booty off over there. About halfway done with field number one, or two of that it actually is. So this may be, start to be a little bit more the challenging part of the game is managing your expenses. It's very tempting just to buy, buy, buy right now. And with $337 and no loan, so we have that loan available if we needed to, uh, you know, it's tempting just to go buy everything we want. Um, but that can start really adding up. So I think it's best to still try to be as conservative as we can uh, really crossing our fingers here hoping this is not too heavy for this little tractor here we go what's it gonna feel like yeah, she's not hauling by any means but she is moving of course it'll be much different once it has some weight in it Oh, well, there's a, speaking of weight, I need to buy a weight for this thing. Okay, so, note to self, uh, we need to get a weight ASAP. I'm tempted to take that weight off the other tractor, but I think I will nurse this one along, and we will go pick one up real quick. which means most definitely that harvester is going to be sitting around waiting on us, which is unfortunate. But we really can't help that. Getting so much closer to buying our cattle. After the cattle, this is our uh, wool or our sheep farm. And so that will be, that's coming up closer on the agenda as well. So just a whole lot of work coming available now that things are starting to turn over and turn around. The big catch is not to do anything that causes us to lose crops or cattle. So let's go to the store real quick, pick up a weight. I think I'll buy the middle of the line weight here. Or should I get the lighter one? You know what, I think I'll get the lighter one 
since this is a lower horsepower tractor. Hopefully it's enough. So there is our weight. We, looks like we got everything we need. Off we go. So we're still getting 26 miles an hour top speed in this thing with this trailer empty. Hopefully that does not change too terribly much uh, once we have this thing full of material because it is a bit of an uphill climb from field number 20 to the farm sure feel it bogged down whenever uh, she goes uphill She does seem to be handling a little better with that weight on her. As soon as we uh, get this thing emptied, we should probably tab over and check on our hired worker who is sowing our field to make sure he has not finished field number two and does not need to be set on field number three yet. There is our harvester. Sitting and costing me money. typically do not like coming up on the side of the harvester over the crops, but due to the fact that we are losing money every minute, I am going to sneak over and run over some of these crops to get it. While that's failing, let's check on him. Okay, so he's got about three or four more passes, probably another few minutes before he'll be ready to go. So we're starting to push 25 minutes here, so we're going to call this the end of episode 14. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Please uh, consider giving me a like and a subscribe for the channel, as well as leave me some comments about what you'd like to see in future episodes. Uh, in the next episode, we'll look at finishing harvesting this field, as well as uh, finishing up some of these other tasks we've been doing. Thanks a lot, guys. You take care. We'll see you soon.